and we're on. Welcome. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan, Timeless Personal Growth and Development, and today we're talking about how to build quiet confidence. And just to give you guys a little insight of what I talk about on this channel, I talk about healthy mindset, self-improvement, improving your physique, productivity, and building healthier relationships with children and partners. So let's get started. Get ready, get relaxed, and get caffeinated. Because here we go. So, I heard a, I heard a quote in a movie once. The movie was American Gangster, starring Denzel Washington. So, I heard this great quote that really stuck with me that he said in the movie. He said, The loudest person in a room is always the weakest person in the room. And I, I thought that was pretty profound. And to me, I've noticed that too, is that people who who want who need a lot of attention will walk into a room and just take over the room. And depending on who the person is, yes, that can project a lot of a lot of confidence, being able to get in the room and gain everybody's attention and be a magnet in the room. We can either be a magnet and draw people in or you can walk into a room and be very loud and flamboyant and just suck the goddamn energy out of the room. Then there are people that walk into a room and don't feel the need to grab everyone's attention. They're perfectly okay, they're perfectly comfortable and confident and content with themselves to just be a fly on the wall, just to stand back and observe and watch and learn and don't feel the need to talk to anybody for me growing up as a young kid I heard it all the time just be confident in yourself just just talk more be more extroverted get out of your shell and you'll be more confident well for me I've always been a very quiet very reserved very introverted kid and, of course, when you're a kid, everybody lacks confidence. You're unsure of yourself. Your body's changing. Your mind's changing. You don't know who you are. You don't know what the direction you're going in your life. Of course, everybody goes through that. But I was always given the message, well, your life will improve and you'll just have more confidence if you just talk more. No, that was not necessarily the case for me. I had, well, if you're naturally a quiet person, how do you develop that confidence? One, one, we live in a very extroverted society, society with TV, with our media, and people get people are always looking for attention in the wrong way sometimes through news, media, TV, and all the stuff we see on Netflix and stuff. It can be a very negative way of looking for attention. One, to build that quiet confidence, you got to be able to not care about the attention. That you're perfectly com comfortable and content and okay to just being on your own. And being okay just being with yourself. And for me, one of the, one of the best ways to be by myself is out, out in nature out of my cottage and I think it was last summer where I just went to cottage by myself for about a week and it was wonderful for about a week I was on my own and perfectly happy and perfectly content so after that week I had a few friends over but that week by myself alone was fantastic and being able to be comfortable being on your own alone and being in your own presence, but at the same time being able to walk into a room, any room, with any amount of people, and being comfortable going up and talking to people and connecting with people, but being able to bounce back and forth between each. And that's, to me, that's how you build that quiet confidence, is being, not necessarily being an introvert, but not being an extrovert and being able to bounce back and bounce back and fluctuate between both energies. A little bit of an extrovert when you need to be, 
but you're very comfortable and by nature you're an introvert because a lot of time introverted people are not comfortable being alone and they always need to need to take their phone and always need to be connecting with someone all the time and you don't need that all the time and if anything with these lockdowns in the last year has taught us is being comfortable not getting all that attention but I guess we're getting all that attention through phones in a, in a digital fashion we're getting that attention by connecting yes we need to be able to connect with people but being comfortable of disconnecting from people too and Being okay with standing in the background. Being okay with just sitting and just observing. And just take, taking a step back and just watching human behavior and being okay with that. You want a tip of how to really build quiet confidence? Someone to really watch and someone to observe and someone to study from. A great character study to build quiet confidence would be James Bond. Perfect example. Absolutely perfect example. He's not the loudest person in the room, but you can damn sure believe that he's the most confident person in the room. And he doesn't feel, he doesn't feel the need to always have attention on, on himself. Well, one, he doesn't, he can't be having all that attention on, his, on himself based on what you see in the movies. But Denzel Washington in American Gangster, he's also a good example of that. Someone he does, he's not the most flamboyant, not the most extroverted person in the world. But you could be damn sure in that movie, in American Gangster, he was the most powerful most dangerous, most intimidating, and the person who had the highest amount of status in that room. He doesn't need to show it. And that's how comfortable and that's how confident he is in himself that he doesn't feel the need to put a goddamn target on his back, that he can just sit back and relax. And he knows that he's the king. He knows that in that movie, he is the king, and he doesn't, and every, he knows that everybody knows it, but he doesn't feel the need to show it off. And James Bond is the exact same way. And you want to learn how to have that quiet confidence is being able to be in the room and just knowing that you're the, you're the, you're baddest dude in that room, but not not feeling the need to show everybody because they know and you know that, that they know a third example of someone who has a lot of quiet confidence and knows he's the baddest mf -er in the room brock lesnar if you're not familiar with brock lesnar ufc fighter former wwe champion and yet yeah, he's another example of he's, by nature he's a quiet introverted dude to the max Yet, he knows in any room, man, he doesn't feel the need to connect with everybody, doesn't feel the need to be everybody's friend. His his friends and the people he connects with connects with is are very selective and really creates that air of mystery around himself. I'm going to give you a quick little story at the end of this video. When I was 13 years old, I was at a summer camp and the first time in my life, I was getting a lot of female attention. I couldn't really understand why. couldn't really explain it. couldn't put my finger on it. And I remember a guy a little bit older than me, a little more experienced, came up to me and explained to me why I was getting that female attention. He told me that your air of aura of quietness and your reserved nature and your introvertedness plays to their imagination. And there's no better tool in your arsenal when it comes to dating strategies than using a woman's imagination by just having that calm, collected, cool, quiet aura about you. That you don't feel the need to always have that attention. 
You always don't always need feel the need to be talking to everybody all the time. You're comfortable just keeping to yourself. And you don't and we live now in a very like extroverted society and society really pushes us to be more talkative, be more extroverted. Well, that's the way to get attention from people. You don't need to. You don't always need to be the extroverted person, extroverted guy or gal to get attention and gain that confidence. Because what, what does that do? You have that air of confidence, but not the kind of confidence where you're trying to suck the life out of every single room that you're in and try to take over every single room you're in. You can walk into a room, totally own the room, but not trying to get attention out of it. Just sitting and just watching. And people people are going to notice that energy about you. People are going to see that. That you can connect with people one-on-one. -on -one. And I do this... I do this at work, at the school I work at, I do this. And I connect with people. I'll connect with kids one-on-one. -on -one. And you do that for a long period of time. You can walk throughout the entire school and get a lot of... A lot of attention from people by just connecting one-on-one -on -one with them. And people people will see how many, oh, oh the kids really, really respond well to that guy. Yeah, because I made connections with so many different kids for such a long period of time. And now I don't really need to do anything because I established so many connections. I could just walk around and gain that attention. Sometimes I Sometimes I try to avoid it. And I don't want attention all the time. I like keeping to myself. I like being quiet. Sometimes I just, I need to get away from that attention. But depending on who you are and what you do for a living, you need to be able to talk. You need to be able to communicate. You need to be able to project that confidence. You need to be able to be cool, calm, collected in high stress, chaotic situations. And that's going to give off that air of confidence that you're going to need to be able to connect with people and be comfortable and be okay projecting that quiet confidence and not having to be the center of attention all the time. And on that note, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Logan Ryder, Thomas Personal Growth and Development. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day.